Welcome to Father Sim's Mass. 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A, and it's all about the treasure we have found. This is Blessed Are You, Lord God of All Creation. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer. Solomon prayed for the wisdom to discern the true value of things. We scarcely need the wisdom of Solomon to realise that in finding the love of God and the kingdom of God, we have found a treasure beyond price. It is in the joy of that realisation that we hold our celebration today. God is in, in his, is in his holy dwelling. He will give a home to the lonely. He gives power and strength to his people. Let us pray that we will make good use of the gifts that God has given us. God, our Father and Protector, without you nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to the world. God, our Father, open our eyes to see in your hand at work, in the splendour of creation, in the beauty of human life. Touched by your hand, our world is holy. Help us to cherish the gifts that surround us, to share your blessings with our brothers and sisters and to experience the joy of life in your presence. The first reading is from the Book of Kings. You have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, Ask what you would like to give me to give you. Solomon replied, Lord, my God, you have made your servant king in succession to David, my father. But I am a very young man, unskilled in leadership. Your servant finds himself in the midst of this people of yours that you have chosen, a people so many in its numbers cannot be counted or reckoned. Give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between good and evil, for who could govern this people of yours that is so great? It pleased the Lord that Solomon should have asked for this. Since you have asked for this, the Lord said, and not asked for long life for yourself or riches or the lives of your enemies, but you have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself here and now I do what you ask. I give you a heart wise and shrewd as none before you have had, and none will ever have after you. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, Lord, how I love your law. My part I have resolved, O Lord, it is to obey your word. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Lord, how I love your law. Let your love be ready to console me by your promise to your servant. Let your love come to me, and I shall live for your law is my delight. Lord, how I love your law. That is why I love your commands more than finest gold. That is why I rule my life by your precepts. I hate false ways. Lord, how I love your law. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. And the second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. God intended us to become true images of his Son. 